Hi everybody, I am here today with a readathon that's taken place in July that Holly Hart's books created and it's, I think it, you say medieval fun. It's the whole month of July. There's like, you don't have to read, like there's 10 prompts or 10 different things you could do, but you don't like, she has like a thing where like there's six, there's six steps or whatever you want to say, where like, I'm looking over here because I got the thing on here. But um, if you read one book, you're a peasant. If you read two books, you're a square. If you're three books, you're a knight. If you read four books, you're a count or countess. Five books, a prince or a princess. And six books... Oh, that this stupid ad keeps popping up on here. And six books, you're a king or a queen. But then she has some stuff where, like, if you want to, like, wear armor, you know, if you want to have weapons and things like that. So, yeah. But long, if you read six, six books at least, then you're good, you know. But if you just want to read one book, you'll be at least a peasant. But it's all for the month of um, July, like I was saying. So, yeah. So you got a long time if you want to do all 10. But I'm going to go over with you and I'm going to show you the books I have. Um, yeah. A book with something pointy on the cover is one of the, the prompts. And for that one, I picked We Hunt the Flame because of the, you know, that's pointy. So yeah, I picked that one and it helps me some of these are book box that I got from book boxes, so it'll help me like with book boxes. Like this one I got from Owl Crate. So if I can read this one, it will help me with one of my Owl Crate books. I'm gonna put this down on the floor, so that's why you're not gonna see my head all the time. The next one is a book with assassins. So for that one, I picked The Tiger at Midnight, which I got from Lit Crate Joy. And definitely has assassins. Asha, Asha, however you say her name, is the assassin in this book. So, there is assassin. So, that will work for that one. The next one is a book with elves. And this helps me. I got two books on here that are also books that I'm reading for the um, book junkie trials. So, at least two of these books are book junkie trial books. So, that will help me, you know, where I'm not reading 50 million books. I'm still going to be reading a lot of books, so. But for so with books with elves in it, I picked Harry Potter number six because it definitely has elves. And yeah, I'm real. And I want to finish my reread because I read the first five and then I took a break for a while. So I want to this month and next month, I mean July and August, finish these. And this one is also one of my picks for the book junkie trial. Which is good. The next one is. A book with mercen mercenaries. This one says in the title that there's mercenaries. I mean, in the blurb, I mean. And I'm also reading this with one of my friends for um, Buddy Read. And that is Truth Witch. It says right here. Let me find it. Where it says, where it says the, um, the witch thing. Or mercenary. It says they will, the friends must fight emperors, prince, and mercenaries alike. So it says mercenaries in there. So that will work. The next one is um, a book whose characters fight for the throne. Right? They're, in this book, they're fighting for the throne. They are fire. And I want to do my reread of this. So, yeah. I got a lot of big books. Hopefully I can read all these books, but we shall see. Okay, the next one is a book with dragons on the cover. I couldn't find any books with dragons on the cover. So I asked Holly if I could if if there's at least the word dragon on the in the title, if I can read that. And she said that was fine. I don't know what this animal is. I don't think it's a dragon. I don't know what this animal is, but it has dragons in the title. Dragon Pearl, or Dragon Pearl, so, gonna read that one. Look how pretty. 
because almost all these books are huge books besides that one. I think that's my shortest one. The next one is a shiny book. So that one, I picked the newest one we got from Owl Crate because it's very shiny. And that's Sorcery of Thorns. So beautiful, isn't it? And it is shiny. Look how shiny. Another big book. I mean, all these books, almost all these books I have are like over 400 pages. This one is 453 pages, I believe. Yeah, that's a big book. Um, the next one is read a thick paperback. And this is another one that, sorry, my back is itching. And this is another one that I am reading for also book junkie trials. And that is Game of Thrones. And this is definitely chunky. Look at that. Floppy, whatever you want to say. Or thick, floppy, whatever. It, it definitely is. And it's over... I thought it was over 700 pages, but it's over 600 pages, which is still a lot of pages. So, yeah. Okay, the next one is a book that has yellowed over time. I picked... I picked this one, but if I'm not in the mood to read it, I have a lot of other books that are... that are um, yellowed with time because of being old. But that is... Um, Vision and Death by J.D. Rogue. Look at this. It's definitely yellowed. It's definitely old. I mean, this is... Poor thing got a little bent. The, cover, the flap there, but that's okay. This is old. <laughs> this is... Um, let me tell... I'll tell you what year this one came out, if I can find the year. This one came out in... 2004. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, old book so yeah that'll definitely work but i also have some romance if i decide i'm in the mood for a romance yeah so i got a lot more if i change my mind and the last one is a book with red on the dust jacket at first i was gonna do the Bur the boneless mercies because that does have um some red on the jacket but i changed my mind because i just got this one yesterday so if you guys if you guys saw my haul you'll you'll know that i just got it yesterday and that one is The Raven's Tale by Cat Winters. But if for some reason I can't get into this one, then I'll go back and try to read um, Boneless Mercies, because that also has red. So it definitely has red right here, The Raven's Tale. So, yeah, it'll definitely work. And there's splotches of red. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. There's splotches of red on the cover. So, yeah. And even under the dust jacket, it's really red. I just love this. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love how it has that there. That way I could take the darn um, dust jacket off if it's driving me nuts. This one I'm really excited for. It's going to be good. And I've never really read Edgar Allan Poe's poems before. But I know my niece Andrea loves his poems. So I'm really excited to read this. Hopefully it won't let me down. It sounds like it's going to be kind of mystery This. How do you say that word? So it should be a good book. I'm really, really excited. I've never read a book by Kate. Cat Winters before. So I don't know if I'm going to have an actual, um, an actual uh, TBR this month. There is a couple other books that I want to try to get to. Because there's a couple other, um, uh, what is it? Readathons going on next month. There's so many readathons. So I want to try to like maybe find something that will fit a couple of prompts for the uh, is it called the uh, Billy o Games or whatever it is. I can't remember the that title, but you guys should know what I'm talking about because it's very what you call it. And then the other one, that's the other big one that's coming out. I can't think of what it is right now. But Ariel, I don't remember her channel, but Ariel, big book tuber, she's. Her and one of the other, I can't remember the other girl's name. They do that one. I know it used to be something else last year, and then they changed it this year to something new. For, you know, people won't think it's um, only YouTubers. So, yeah, so they changed it for it will be more, like, friendlier, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, for readathons. For people who don't think it's just for, like I said, YouTubers. So I'm going to think, I'm thinking about doing at least a couple, I don't know, like, I know the other one already did their prompts, like, 
one of the um one of the co the host co host um favorite books or something like that. Um, and I know I have a book here that I haven't read. Daisy Jones and Sixes is, is one of their um picks for that one. So I was gonna probably try to read that one or listen to the audio for I could at least do that one. And also their um I think it's them. They have a um like a um book of the month. I mean like you know what you I mean the what is it called? The um like a group book, which is Aurora Ryzen, I believe. Yeah. So I was gonna try to read that or listen to the audio if I can find the audio. Hopefully I can find some audios for this. I know I have the Harry Potter audio, so I might listen to the Harry Potter audio. Yeah. Uh yeah. And see what else they got on script that I might be able to listen to. But yeah, um, I because I really want to try to, you know, to participate in all four somehow. I just gotta wait and see what the prompts are for the other one. But I definitely want to participate in that one. But the other one I really want to participate in because it's gonna be the last um the last one because they're stopping after this year. Which is really sad because I loved last year. The only year I was able to participate because last year was when I first started. So yeah. But let me know if you guys are doing the medieval fun. And if so, what are some of the books you're going to read? And what do you think about my book choices? We will see how much I will actually get done. I don't have to read, like I said, all of these ten. I just picked out a book for each ten. I mean, for each one, but I at least want to try to read six so I can, you know, be at the top. But I'm going to let you guys go for I can put my, clean up my mess, and then I got to go grocery shopping and all that fun stuff. But you guys should really join if you haven't, if you haven't heard about it. Even just join and just read a couple of books because Holly went all out for this. It is so neat. Like, if you go to her channel, she has like the graphics out where you can see what it looks like and stuff. Cause she, it's really cute what she did for it. And if I remember, I will link her video down in the description. Hopefully I'll remember cause a lot of times I forget. But if I do remember, I will, like I said, put it down in the description. Because yeah, Holly is awesome and she deserves to be Wow, you know what? Her readathon next month deserves to be like a success. And hopefully she'll keep doing them because I love Holly. She's like one of my favorite booktubers. I know she's my friend Ashley's one of her, which is Book Babe 88. I know she's one of her favorite. Some of the books that we get is recommendations because of Holly. So, yeah. So I am so super, super excited to join in this one this is this one and the other one booktube junkies or book junkie trial i love i think it's gonna be so fun and i like that it's all month both of them so i have plenty of time i got like 10 11 12 at least 13 books that i want to try to read i know i will get the harry potter one done and the game of thrones one done since they're both on both of the readathons. So I know I'll get those two done as long as I can get into Game of Thrones. Sorry, I don't know why it's going. I think it's the weather. It's so nasty out. It's not like raining, but it looks like it's gonna rain and it's like making everything gloomy now. There we go, that's better. Sorry, but yeah. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And let me know if you guys follow Holly. If not, you guys should definitely follow Holly Hart. Cause she is awesome, 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 awesome. I know I'm being weird, but yeah, Holly Hart's books. And like I said, if I remember, I'll put it down her channel down in the description. You know, whatever you want to say. And yeah, and I'll link that video for you to watch it. But I love you guys. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And remember, hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is up for your enjoyment. 
I love you guys, and I will catch you all later. Bye for now. Lori out.